So the pain has been increasing. Um, as with most surgeries, the most pain is usually felt on the third day. I've definitely been feeling that starting to kick in. Most pain was at a six yesterday after surgery. Since then, it's gotten steadily lower. Um, I've been keeping up with my pills. Each one of those can be taken every four hours or so, and I've been keeping consistent with those every other hour or so, alternating. Um, but I can definitely feel that pain starting to gradually increase at its height. Um, I just now got to a six again. It was probably at a four, but I pressed the button for a nurse to come bring me my next dose of pills because that's the earliest they said I could take my next ones. And 15 minutes later, nobody had still come into this room. So I called them again and I was like, hey, is somebody on their way? And they were like, yes. And then a few minutes later, she came in and told me that she was wrong about the time and that it wasn't early enough uh, to take the pills yet. I had to wait a bit longer. Um, and then she went through the computer base, whatever thing, looking through my information and found out that I could have been on morphine this whole time. I have not been given morphine at all until just now, probably a minute or two ago. That's really upsetting me. I'm very mad about it because by the time she gave me the more, by the time she found out I could have morphine, got the morphine and then administered it, I was back at a six, which was the highest. Probably almost a seven because I felt like crying for a minute there because just because I was, I was in so much pain. And if that were an option, I should have been given it a lot sooner. Found an IV. Honestly, they should have had it in an IV the whole time on a button that I could just press on a timer. I don't know why. And then we asked if that were an option after we found out that morphine was an option. We asked if they could put it in the IV and they told us that um, that we don't want to do that because they want to exhaust all of our other options before morphine in an IV is an option. My experience here has been very, very good aside from recently. I have felt some positive reinforcement and good vibes from the nurse that kind of fucked me over a little bit just now, but but this is my first time experiencing not so greatness. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys too, so you're not just seeing all the, the good parts. Um, it's a bit stressful, and it's kind of pissing me off that I had to go from a four to a six or a seven because of timing and lack of information. Okay, so after that little pain scare, we called Dr. Stiller, my surgeon, and uh, his personal number. And we talked to him about everything and explained everything that was going on. And he was like, that shouldn't be an issue at all. And called them and immediately got it fixed. Moments later, we had another nurse come in and talk to us about it first, talk about our plan. Um, from now on, we're gonna do uh, morphine every hour on the hour. That's as much as they can give me. And um, that has already felt great so far. Uh, they gave me the morphine about a little over a half hour ago. And now they've given me a little bit of Dilaudid as well which does make me a bit drowsy, so that combined with the morphine 
is about to make me pass out, <laughs> which is okay. I'm totally fine with that. I'm excited to finally get some sleep. Little to no pain now. It's all kicking in very, very swiftly. And this is how it should have been the whole time. I just got out of surgery yesterday afternoon. I was kind of in and out of sleep most of the night. I've been in very minimal pain, like on a scale from one to 10. This has all been like a three, maybe four at the most. Um, my chin has had no pain whatsoever, luckily, and almost no swelling. Um, yeah, and now we're just getting our labs done again. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Ready as well. <laughs> and while you're filming, let's look at the whole thing. Let's see what we've got going on down here. I can show you guys this. this uh, I've got an ice pack on right now, although it's kind of hard to feel the cool because it's got a lot of packing here. So it's very, very thick and hard to get through to, but this is what we've got going on. We've got tons of tubes. Tube, tube, I think that's the catheter. I think. They're all flat now. <laughs> Although it doesn't really hurt to touch this. I could probably knock on a little, little bit because it's very, quite solid with how much packing is going on here. So it's, it's very, very thick. But I'm gonna put that back on right here. Because that feels better. Okay, so I wanna ask you a dirty question. Okay, I'm not... I mean, <laughs> you've seen everything so far. Right, but... are you looking forward to being eaten now? Um... We were just talking about sex and complications yeah. pre-transition. Pre-transition, I, I did use my dick because, I mean, pleasure, and that's how you have orgasms. Um, not the biggest on, um, like, blowjobs or anything like that. I do not, I mean, it doesn't do anything for me. It's kind of weird to look down and see someone sucking something I'm uncomfortable with. But, um, as for being eaten out, I mean, I mean, I am excited about how that might be, but I'm not really thinking about it right now. I'm not sure when they said the timeline was for, um, for when I can start having sex, but I think even after that checkpoint, after that point, um, I don't think I'll want to have sex for a while anyways. Um, I really want to mostly be comfortable with myself and my vagina before I get to that point. I want to make sure all the bruising, all the swelling is gone first. I want to kind of exploit myself and kind of see what, what I like and stuff like that. I mean, it takes cis women a long time to figure that stuff out. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna give myself time. Give myself as much time as I need. I've been able to eat just fine. I've had no nausea. Um, you had a good breakfast today. Yeah, and I'm not done with it. So after this, I'm gonna finish that yogurt. What are you most excited to see? It's hard to say, to be honest, because obviously, the dick is more invasive, the, the, the vagina surgery is more invasive, it's more serious, but I think personally, I'm honestly a little bit more excited to see my chin, just because that's something I have to see all the time, whether I'm looking in a mirror, in a reflection of a black TV, or a mirror, or a window, or anything. Doing your makeup. I, or doing my makeup, yeah. I see my chin all the time, and it really, really bothers me. Really bothers me, because it was so boxy. And I'll try to put in some before pictures. 
The surgeon said there's very little swelling, so we can actually get a good idea of how it looks right now. And um, so we brought it back about a millimeter or two, and then we also shaved it to give it more of a rounded look rather than... You can than, already see that actually. Yeah, rather than that boxy shape that it was in. And I can feel it, and that's very exciting. I'm so excited to see that. My pain level went down from like a four to a two when she gave me my, gave me my last pills. So I think I'll need something at a higher dose, but I think I'm gonna wait for about an hour or so. So it's also a bit weird. I'm having like this rumbling thing happening in my stomach. There's an ice pack there as well, but it's like, it's like my stomach is rumbling, like almost like I'm hungry or something, but I'm not. It's like, almost like digestion, maybe. I don't know what it is, but I can feel my whole stomach like rumbling. I feel things like moving and it's like, I feel everything moving around. It's just rumbling. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It's just, I don't know. It's like that feeling you get when you're hungry. It just kind of rumbles and it's, rumbling currently and it does it like every like few seconds or so <laughs> it's weird i don't know what it is but that's a thing i like walking i like hiking I'm a, i like dancing i like being an active person so this is very hard for me um it's only day two still but it's painful it's actually like my body is physically like in pain from how stiff it is right now. I've been trying to like raise my legs like that without moving my thighs, just to kind of help keep that, that movement flowing and trying to stretch my feet and whatnot. Anything that I really can do. I feel like I'm on an airplane that is going way too long and I just need to pretend to have to go to the bathroom so I can get up real quick. I think we'll start by um, emptying your JPs and then we'll kind of reposition. Okay. And I'll probably rub some lotion on your back so you're not so stiff. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that really helps. Do you have lotion? I don't. I, have I, ha I can go so. get a sun. I like her a lot. She's really good. Yeah. She straight up just walked in here with like fresh ice from my ice pack, even though I didn't need it. Came in with some water, changed the trash. Like actually gave me useful information. Mm -hmm. Went out and got pillows, now she's getting me lotion. She's gonna help you like, kind of switch it up a little bit, right yeah. To get rid of some of that stiffness. So including the day of surgery itself, today is day three. I haven't been filming a whole lot because there's not really a whole lot going on. It's been pretty uneventful. Um, although last night I did sleep basically the whole night through. I mean, I got up probably around like five in the morning, which was a bit early, but I mean, that's pretty late for being able to sleep through the night. 
and I've had very very minimal pain um, again it's been down to like a consistent one maybe even a 0.5 at some points um, it's been very 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 good um, yeah I've been really tired a lot today though I've been sleeping a bunch more and that definitely helps too the more I sleep the more I realize I'm in less pain although when I wake up I feel like the pain slowly starts to set in as it as I regain consciousness I guess I've got these little they call them JPs I don't know what they actually are but they're they're these little things that are hooked up to my vagina that collect any excess fluids or excess blood or anything and as you could see a second ago, um, there's not much, maybe a drip or two. So that's very good. See that? You're sitting straight yeah, up. I'm just about straight up and I'm honestly so surprised by that because this is only day three and it doesn't hurt to sit like this. Um, I've been trying to, to very gradually prop myself up a little bit more because I don't want to overexert myself or overestimate how much I can actually do but I'm really honestly surprised by how painless it is to sit up and I've honest I've actually found that laying down hurts a bit more than than sitting up actually uh, but that's probably just because of all the tape that's that's on my vagina because it's going from right here all the way down under my under onto my butt and up my back so it's all very very tight holding this all all this padding and everything here um, and I think the more I lay down the more it kind of pulls on that tape and pushes on my on my vagina and that kind of hurts a bit but sitting up is completely fine this feels good 